The soul is the immaterial essence of humanity, a spark of divinity that can flourish or dwindle within individuals or communities. Over the last two decades, the soul of our nation has struggled to survive. That battlefront is not new. Humankind has a penchant for selling their souls to con men, tyrants, and religious bigots for the most ignoble pursuits. Slavery, the Crusades, religious wars, imperialism, ethnic cleansing, Nazism, atomic warfare, Jim Crow laws, white supremacy, the caging of immigrants, and global warming. It seems the soul is a fragile entity, easily duped, manipulated, and enlisted for evil purposes. Today, the American soul is bruised and frayed. A torrent of profanity is rising, and we are nearly out of breath. The finest quality of our humanity, our national soul, is sinking, sinking. And yet, as I reflect on the history of the United States, I'm inspired by moments of hope. The Declaration of Independence of 1776, the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863, women's suffrage in 1920, fair labor standards in 1938, the North Atlantic Treaty in 1949, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Clean Air Act of 1970, the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. But the shining moments seem to have waned in the last 20 years. Our energy has been redirected toward unimagined advances in medicine and technology, fine enough, but also in turning our eyes askance from those in need while rocketing the wealth of the already ultra rich. The time is ripe for a new, bold generation, a blast of human compassion straight from an untarnished soul, to tackle the stubborn social issues, to value teachers, the veterans, the elderly, the poor, the homeless, the disenfranchised, the people of color, the stewards of our planet. The time is ripe to look beyond the special interests of lobbyists who bribe our representatives with their easy cash. The time is ripe for virtuous, servant leaders devoted to facts, science, logic, and the aspirations of every American. The time is ripe to revive empathy, far-sightedness, and true, unconditional democracy. The time is ripe to give peace a chance to heal America's soul.